A few days ago, I embarked upon my journey, this Shuozo Jozota type Luxing. It's you say go, you just go type of traveling with the intention of attending a spiritual event known as a wedding. However, circumstances would prove otherwise, and unfortunately the wedding was delayed. That does not stop my new friends and I from having many epic adventures. We have continued to travel and have done many interesting things along the way. And now, through a bunch of serendipitous coincidence type events, I find myself at a very different type of spiritual ceremony known as a celebration of life for Nima's brother who actually had passed very long ago when she was only six years old, but through, they were unable to give a proper wedding at the time. And so they just had a quick burial. And now as she's returning to her hometown here in Morongu, Tanzania, they have decided to formally conduct a ceremony, a proper celebration of life. And as you see, there's a large group of people gathered here, the family members and some friends and other neighbors from the village. And I will also be attending and experiencing what this type of very local celebration of life is like. And I suppose you will be attending as well remotely from wherever you are in the world. And uh, I hope you enjoy. I'd like to thank everybody who came here, Lennon and my babies. Um, it's a pleasure to be home, to enjoy seeing my family, speaking a little bit of Swahili, and uh, in the celebration of life, my brother Stephen, uh, my sister in Violada, my sister Carolina, and also my dad who passed down a few years ago. The other ones had been gone a long time ago, but my, my dad passed like um, 11 years ago, so. Mm. Sad moments sometimes can become good moments. Like we're celebrating their lives now because uh, they were good people. And you know, love goes to love. And we love them because they loved us before. So thank you so much and God bless you all. <laughs> Wona Yesu, wewe ni chakula kweli, wewe ni kina jepe, joha petu mayani. Wana joha utushibise, wewe ni chakula kweli, wewe ni kina jepe, joha petu mayani. 
What are you making? Uh, you can do salad. Salad? salad? Yeah, this is salad. Cabbage. Cabbage. Salad, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Watermelon. Here's watermelon. Yeah, great. Yeah. Bon bon. <laughs> That's cucumber. Sun -sun. Cucumber. Cucumber. Yeah. And this is green beans. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there other food to see? Yes. Rice? Rice? Yes. This one is pilau. Ah, okay. Pilau yeah, here? Yeah, pilau. Pilau? Have yeah. I've had pilau. I like pilau. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Pilau. And this is, is this pilau yeah. also or biryani? No, no. All, 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 all pilau. Yeah, all pilau. Mm -hmm. It's a chili. Chili? Like chili with oh, tomatoes, okay. onions. Okay, yeah. great. Yes. Asante sana. Oh, karibu. Have a plantain. Oh, okay. Still more, wow. Yeah, still more. We have a... Oh, wow, so, so smoky. We this is, okay. This is... Uh, Indizi. Indizi. Yeah. Banana. And then this is... Uh, uh, Choma. No, 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 no. Nyama. Nyama. Yeah, beef stew. Beef stew, okay. Yes, yes. Wow, very smoky in here. <laughs> yeah, it's see. Here's the buffet set up. Lombo. <laughs> ah, soda. Hi, guys. I was invited to dine inside with the priest and family. Time for my meal. Boiled banana and dizzy. Quite the fan of cooked bananas. Biryani, mixed spice rice. That's really nice. Now I have a beef stew with green peas over white rice. Mm. Mm. That's sweet. And some of the beef in the stew. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Local chicken. Mm -hmm. is, is it boiled? Uh, fried? Boiled and fried. Mm, boiled and then fried. Local chicken. They have import chicken, which is not as good, and then the local chicken, which is much better. Mm. A little bit. There's some cucumber. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Very sweet for a cucumber. Side salad. Mm. Very interesting. Mostly sweet dressing. You know, what's the dressing on the on the salad? What's on this? It's just oil and that's all. Just oil. Carrot. Carrot. Yeah. What type of oil? Sunflower. Sunflower oil. Oh, interesting. Mm. Watermelon. Is this local watermelon? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
Bulk watermelon's the best. <laughs> mm. Here we have some green beans. Mm. Those are also very nice. Connie, what did you have? I had pilaf. Did you like it? It was really good. Well, what is it like to you? Does it taste like anything you've had before, or what was the flavor um, like? It's very spicy, not like hot, but lots of spices in it. Right, yeah, flavorful. Mm -hmm. I've never had pilaf like this. Mom makes it differently. Oh, really cool. Good. Right on, this is the local style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lunch was awesome. I went back for seconds of the indizi, the biryani, and the beef stew. And now I have been brought... This is so much. This is a, a giant mug of local brew. How do you say this again? The local name? Umbuege. No, no, Mbege. 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 Yes. And it has indizi. Yes, it's indizi instead, and then millet. Okay. You know, finger millet. And then oh. They, they grow them. Right. Uh, they sprout when they sprout. Right. And then they dry them. Okay. Yeah. Finger millet sprouted like a sprouted wheat. Yeah. And then yeah. They, we, they took you it have to the fermented though. And fermented, of course. Yes, yeah. Yes, For, wow, it smells strong. Yeah. And <laughs> so there's this is huge. I, there's no way I can drink this whole thing. No, no, no. You have to. Will others will others share with me? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will just drink a little bit. Yeah, and it's made from banana. That's the Andesi. Yes. So I had banana beer once before, but it was in a bottle. All right, let's yeah. see what it. And this, let me. I'll show you after I take a sip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Right. Do you hold it from here? It's. Yes. Oh, it's too heavy. Oh, no. <laughs> it is very full. All right, let me take a little sip. Yeah. Hmm. I actually like that. Wow, that's not bad. Okay, look at this stuff. It's not filtered. So there's, it's a little chunky or gritty. And compared to the bottled banana beer that I had, I greatly prefer this one. And look at that thing, it's huge. This is like a liter, more than a liter of banana beer. <laughs> and how, how strong is this? Like, do you know the alcohol percentage? Mm -hmm. it's, the alcohol goes up. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, very sweet, but then start right. Change. And um, so, is this one like how long was this fermented? Last, 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 last day. Last, they brewed last night. Oh, they brewed this last night. Okay, yeah. so this one is not as strong. That's maybe why the, uh, the flavor is so good. Yeah, yeah you okay. have to brew, to brew, to brew it the night before, though. The night before. Oh, interesting. That's very quick. Yeah. You guys smell it? So you, you think it's strong? Yeah. Connie, what did you think? Do you like the smell? It smells like bananas, though. Really. It does smell like bananas. It smells like a banana milkshake. Wow, yeah. It is kind of like a banana milkshake, but with some wheat and fermented. All right. Let me see if I can drink some more. Thank you for holding. That's your workout for the day. All right. Hmm. I think, oh, here's a crack. Yeah. Okay. Well, a small crack, crack on this side. Well, they, they, they some metal yeah. Stuff. It's fixed with metal, but it still leaks a little bit. So maybe I drink from over here. Oh, a crack on this other side too. <laughs> yeah. I'm All right. Trying to I'll just try from right here. Mm. I like it. It is like a banana milkshake. <laughs> 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 Since I'm a bigger man, but I don't drink very often, how much do you think I would need to drink to get like Two. buzzed or to get drunk? Two of them. Two of these would get yes. me drunk? Yeah. Would I be like falling over drunk or? If you ate good, you won't be falling over. But if you so you think I can drink all this and be okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so it is very light then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll see how much I can drink. Okay. <laughs> I'm not driving. Well, you'll get a stomachache though. You think I'll do a stomachache from drinking yeah, all this? Yeah, that's what my concern is. Mm, okay. Alright, well, I'll take it slow. I'll drink a little bit and see how I feel. Yes. There's, there's beer here. No, no, no. This is better than beer. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> You're a hard-headed person. Hard-headed? <laughs> Living my best life. I know. <laughs> and so do well, I. One more time, the name of this. 
Mbege. Mbege. Yeah. Mbege. Kombe mbege. Kikombe cha mbege. Kikombe cha mbege. Kipata kipata cha mbege. Kipata cha mbege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is keep kipata. Kipata. Kipata cha. Yeah, kipata, yeah. Oh, okay. Kipata. Kipata cha mbege. You like, you've had many, you've had before, many yeah. times. Yeah. How much can you drink? <laughs> you drink the whole one? Can you drink the whole one? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not much of a drinker. Um, it's been over a year since I've had really any alcohol. And I drank very little, maybe just two or three or four ounces. But I'm going to wait 20 minutes and see how I feel, see if I have any effects and also to see if uh, it messes with my stomach at all. Mambo. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this time in Morongu with me and Nima and all of her family for this celebration of life. For me, it was definitely very moving and touching and I enjoyed meeting lots of the locals I enjoyed eating the local food, and I particularly enjoyed drinking a little bit of that banana beer. Please take the time, if you feel so inclined, to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace and love to all of you, bye.